Hello, everyone, and so welcome back. And today we're going to talk about cash required to close. And in a question like this, this means that the bank is going to loan X amount of dollars for the purchase price, and the buyer is responsible for bringing the rest to close on the house. And so we think that you're going to see something along the lines of, of these two questions. So what we have here is if a bank makes a 90% loan on a house valued at $88,500, how much cash is required at the closing in the form of a down deposit if the buyer has already paid $4,000 in earnest money? So what this question is essentially asking us is, um, what is 10% of 88,500 if the bank is bringing the other 90 for a total of 100,000? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take 88,500 dollars and we're going to multiply that by 10 percent right because the bank is bringing the other 90 percent and that is going to give us eight thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars so what we also have to keep in mind though is that the buyer has already dropped off a four thousand dollar earnest money check so we need to subtract four thousand dollars from that uh ten percent and that gives us four thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars so the buyer is responsible for bringing an additional four thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars on the day of closing a second question that you might see is going to look something like this if a bank makes an 85% loan on a house valued at $120,000, how much cash is required at closing in the form of a down deposit if the buyer has already paid $8,000 in earnest money? So we're going to go to the exact same thing. We're going to take the purchase price, which is $120,000. We're going to multiply that by 15% this time right? Because the, the bank is bringing 85%. So the buyer is responsible for 15%. And that gives us $18,000. And then again, they have already dropped off $8,000 in earnest money. So we're going to take 18,000 and we're going to subtract $8,000 from that. And now the buyer is responsible for bringing 10 thousand dollars in earnest money so the purchase price is 100 percent we figure out what the bank is bringing and whatever that gap is is how much the buyer needs to bring for a down payment so we take that gap and we subtract it from the earnest money and that is the money that we need to bring to the closing table to close on the loan I hope that was helpful. Stay tuned for more tips to pass your real estate exam.